Hey guys, how's it going? Pretty shocking, isn't it? This is what, three vlogs in one week actually published? Um, cheers, oh, excuse me. Also, I have to check my settings. There's a lot of birds going on outside. Um, I have to check my settings on my uh, camcorder because lately, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but <laughs> I was watching the playback on one of my vlogs the other day and falling asleep. Um, uh, but I noticed there was like, I don't know if I've, as I've traveled, if I've hit some button on there and I don't realize it, but I noticed that there were times when I moved closer to the camera and then this was on playback, that it looked like the camera was like psychedelic. Maybe it's a side effect of some of the medication I'm on. Um, no, but something is, one of my settings I think has inadvertently been um, changed because I am really the most non-technical vlogger. I put my camera up, I press record on my remote, and I upload it to YouTube. I obviously don't edit. I don't have any plan with what I'm going to say, I just talk. Um, but as I've been uploading my videos to YouTube lately, it's been saying, I'm trying to think of what it says when I upload it. It says something like, you're, you're uploading this in HD, you know, it, it upload it in this version to get a better quality or something. And I'm like, I've been uploading it the same way for the past, when did I start vlogging? 2009, four years. So I'm gonna have to check on the settings. So if, if this seems weird to you, somebody tell me what I've done. <laughs> tell me what I've done and I'll fix it. But um, cheers to you, happy morning. It is uh, Friday, Friday. I'm really digging this new version, version three. So this is Kelly's Coffee version 3.0. Like I've told you before, I'm still doing the um, coffee black. I guess it's really not black anymore if I put a tablespoon of um, heavy cream in there. But, um, and I do measure it. <laughs> oh, Carla, I love you. Um, so I put my coconut oil in here and my cinnamon and then one tablespoon. I was just, I actually, I was just testing to see if I could have a tablespoon of cream and if it would bother my stomach because um, I'm kind of veering out into, you know, I've had a couple of conversations with two different people where I was, and they said something about, you know, you can have this and it shouldn't bother your, your stomach with the lactose issues. I am not lactose intolerant. I, I have to clarify. It's almost like, there are people that go gluten-free that are not celiac. They just go gluten-free because they tend to have, um, there's, you know, they tend to have less bloating or whatever without consuming gluten. That doesn't mean that they're celiac or that, you know, there's a big difference there. I'm not lactose intolerant across the board. Um, I definitely have an issue with certain milk products, like definitely anything soft serve. I could not have a soft serve frozen ice cream or a soft serve. Um, yogurt, frozen yogurt, I would be doubled over in pain all day. Also, um, I think cottage cheese upsets my stomach. A glass of milk, um, just milk by itself. Um, someone told me that yogurt and, and then of course Greek yogurt. Uh, Paul's telling me about that and then Dr. Mike was telling me about because I was talking about whey protein and how I miss having whey protein and you know it was it was very limited with the choices for non whey but he's like you can have whey protein if it's whey isolate um, and so now I'm kind of looking into excuse me sorry um, whey isolate which apparently is the has the lactose taken out of it I don't know how to explain it but my two friends that, that know can explain it. And usually I'm like this, okay. Which means I really don't understand what you're saying, but I'm just gonna believe you. Um, so there's that. So I do enjoy, and I only, just to let you know, I basically make um, my Starbucks coffee back there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and I'll usually make enough for one cup and then I fill it up. Like I, I add more coffee to it later, but when I add more coffee to it, I tend to drink the second cup with just what whatever's left over in here. So I don't for my second cup, if I have a second cup, I don't add all the stuff to it. So I'm only using one tablespoon of cream. Works for me. Also, I'm sorry for those of you that are going to be upset that I have 
Christmas music playing in the background. I <laughs> noticed this morning that some kind gentleman wrote on my blog who has never written before to just say something like that music's got to go. Thanks for stopping in. I sometimes I wonder about people that really have the only thing they do is go on blogs and videos and just make really negative like I hate your hat or please turn the music down or obviously there's far worse but I mean like who are these people there's so many better people in the world and don't get me wrong I certainly can get in a bad mood and bitch and moan but I kind of choose to try to focus on not being that way um, just kind of I, I don't get it like putting that much energy into we all have bad days but to be that way every single day of your life I mean <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this. This still cracks me up that this is not a joke. There are a group of people out there that actually have taken the time to create an entire forum, a website, where it's exclusively dedicated to making fun of blogs and vloggers or whatever that they don't like. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. There's obviously a lot to make fun of, and like I said, I could make fun of myself as a full-time job because there's so much to make fun of, seriously. Um, I don't take myself seriously. I, I do realize there's so many issues. I don't know why I talk so long in my videos, but you guys seem to love this. Um, but I just, I can't say this without laughing that there are some people that obviously felt so strongly about the things that they hate and bloggers that they hate that they've chosen to say, you know what, I don't have enough space to complain every day. Let's make a website where we can go every day and of course anonymously. Let's all anonymously talk with each other and read blogs that I, so you, you know, I hate this blog, I hate this person but I'm gonna read their blog every day and then I'm gonna create a whole website where I talk about how much I hate their blog. So I'm gonna keep reading their blog and my friends are all gonna read their blog and I'm gonna tell all my friends everything that I've read on their blog so they all go to that blog or that video and watch it and then go, yeah, that's awful. I can't, I hate her dog, I hate her husband. Oh, he's a jerk, I can't believe he's dating that girl. Every single day. Can you imagine, I mean, that's like to me, going to a restaurant and getting food poisoning and then saying, I'm gonna to go to that restaurant every day and get food poisoning and I'm gonna create a whole website where all I do is talk about going to this restaurant that I hate and the food makes me throw up every day, but I'm gonna keep going and keep eating there and keep throwing up and I'm just gonna keep talking about it. Doesn't that sound like a great concept? Oh, and I'm also not getting paid to do this. Hmm. Good times. But hey, you know what? Keep at it. <laughs> because it's called you're driving free traffic to all these people's blogs out there. So hey, it's working for them. It's helping them make more money. Um, anyway, that said, I'm getting ready to go to the gym. Um, it's a little late this morning, but I am doing it anyway. And um, I have to tell you guys, so many of you have been um, emailing me about the coconut oil thing. Um, there's like a mad mad happy hour for birds outside my window right now. I ran out of my normal um, I ran out of my normal bird seed mix and so the only thing I had left was this uh, just the the sunflower uh, black sunflower seeds which apparently for birds is like the prime rib of of food so that's the only thing that's out there it's just the um, the black sunflower seeds and they're I think they're all like crapping their pants going, oh my God. And they're telling everybody and all their friends are coming over going, it's unlimited prime rib, bird style, you know. <sighs> yes, I am that nerdy bird girl. I like to watch birds. They calm my nerves when I need to have calm nerves, which is pretty much every day. So anyway, um, I'm heading to the gym and then I have a lunch meeting today. Um, yesterday I did shoulders, which I think you guys know is my favorite um, thing to work. My favorite, my favorite body parts to train, weight training that is, are shoulders. I love back and biceps. Um, I love doing legs. Um, 
any any part of legs. The, the thing that I'm using right now in the interim until I get my new official training program is um, I'm actually using the, the old program that Jenny Lynn had written up for me quite a while ago. So I think she divides it up into glutes and hamstrings, quads and calves. Um, so I think I did the glutes and, no, I didn't do hamstrings because um, that would be like deadlift heaven, which I'm beginning to like deadlifts. I used to hate deadlifts, but once you, I don't know about you guys, but once you really pay attention, and we should all pay attention on everything we're doing with form, once you really pay attention with deadlifts and you focus on the right form, it's pretty amazing how you can just feel your glutes and you're like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm creating a monster back there of major amazing glutes. I'm all about that. Um, but anyway, I am talking to Dr. Mike today um, about my diet because I will tell you guys, um, it's funny that I'm saying my diet is what needs the most work because it's not that I'm eating bad food. I, it's really not. My problem is, is that I'm still, um, I, I don't want to say, yeah, I guess you could just say I'm just still winging it. I, I just, I don't make time to grocery shop. I don't really have time to grocery shop and go to multiple grocery stores. For example, the last time I went, um, there's a huge Walmart super center around the corner and I, I like to go there because they have really good produce. They don't carry Brussels sprouts. And for those of you guys that have been watching my videos for a while, God bless you, um, you know that there's certain green vegetables I can have. Asparagus works for my stomach. Broccoli and cauliflower does not. Gives me a stomach ache. Who would have figured? So they had all of it. So I go to, I, and, and I, I try to get everything done in one stop. I don't like going to four different places for my damn groceries. So I went to Walmart and um, they don't have Brussels sprouts. So I have sweet potatoes, I have asparagus, but I have no Brussels sprouts. I really like to put a bunch of, in the, in the oven, I, I like to roast a bunch of vegetables together. Ideally do sweet potatoes, uh, peppers, throw in some red onions, which are really purple, by the way, and um, Brussels sprouts. But right now what I have is I have asparagus and I have sweet potatoes, I have ground turkey, I've got chicken breasts, um, I've got my cabbage and all that. Trying to cut down, and I'm gonna ask Mike what he says today um, about hummus, because, you know, I've lost a good amount of weight. I still have, I'm surprised when I weigh myself that I really still have at least 15 pounds to lose. Um, whatever my weight is, I don't care. But I, I can, there's not a question. If you, if you look at me in my workout clothes, it still is all around my core. Um, I'm just at least, I got probably two, or, two inches to lose around my hips. It's all around my hips and my, um, my lower belly. I've lost a lot. I've leaned out a lot in my back, in my arms, in my legs. My legs are leaning out. I'm happy with that whole area, but I still have fat to lose. So I wanna be very specific because I'll tell you guys, and this is important because so many people think you know, diet or, or what you need to lose, what you need to eat is all about making sure you eat less. Sometimes that can be, if you're eating, if you're really not eating enough and you're working out, it can be just as destructive and keep you at that same level. Like if you're not losing, if you're staying at the same level, um, I'm leaning out, but I was kind of surprised when I got on the scale. I told Mike, I'm like, really? I'm really surprised that the scale is not showing much less because my clothes are getting looser all the time, more loose. Um, I can see in the mirror that I've leaned out, certainly still see I have ways to go. But I just thought that the, the scale would reflect more of a weight loss. So, you know, he asked me to write out what I've been eating and I realized that I'm still, I'm still not hitting it right. I'm still doing too much of, you know, getting up, I go to the gym, I do my workout, I come home, I'll have a lunch. After my lunch, the rest of the day is just falling off. I'm not getting, I'm not doing enough um, vegetables. I'm winging it too much. I don't go grocery shopping enough, so I don't have enough selection. You know, I keep opening my, my fridge and I'm like, what can I make? You know, like last night, last night I was getting ready to make dinner and I'm like, I've got frozen chicken, frozen turkey. I don't feel like waiting and thawing it, so I haven't prepped my food. I just need to really freaking get on the ball. Um, Mike is gonna tell me what I should be avoiding for my goals, again, people. It's not like going on some specific fat loss diet or whatever. It's about, you know, what I should be aiming for each day. Because I told him, he's like, what are you doing? And I said, I'm just winging it. And I'm not eating bad food. It's not that I'm going out and having ho-hos and donuts and stuff. 
but I think there was one time when I was in Boston, um, and I gotta shut up and go, um, when I was in Boston and I wrote to him because he's like, you need to let me know what you're eating every day so I can see what you're eating and see where I need to tweak. And I started sending him like, here's what I had the past three days. And of course, then I'm making excuses. I'm like, just understand, you know, I'm on the road, so I don't have, you know, that much choice. I mean, really, when you're ordering room service, it's like, here's your healthy choices, Cobb salad, steak and vegetables, chicken and vegetables or fish and vegetables. There's not much variety to have there. For breakfast, I usually have scrambled eggs and black coffee. Um, but I wrote to him what I'd had one day, and I think it was um, scrambled eggs, three scrambled eggs for breakfast with black coffee. Um, what had I had for lunch? Um, maybe I hadn't had, whatever it was that I sent to him. I thought, well, I've had a good day. This is what I've eaten. And I told him, and I said, so is that a good day? And he's like, you, you need to eat more. You've only had about a thousand calories. I thought, you guys, I'm not trying to eat that less, but sometimes if you're not writing down and you don't have a plan, it's so easy to either A, for me, have a day like that where I thought I've eaten enough and I've probably eaten 800 to 1,000 calories, or if I have too much hummus in my refrigerator and I go and I'm just not, not counting a meal, I'm like, oh, I'm kind of hungry, so I'm gonna have some peppers dipped in hummus. Hummus is very easy to overeat, and you could have 400 calories of hummus without even blinking. Okay, don't act like you haven't done it. So I, I know there's plenty of days where I'm doing that, like with the, where I'm not even realizing it, and wow, crap, I'm having a thousand calories. If you're having a thousand calories only, and you're going to the gym and, and hightailing it and having a really killer workout, um, that's not good. On the other hand, if you're doing days, like I said, where you know, you're know you going and you're having maybe peppers and hummus, that's not bad, but you can overeat that way easily. And then if you actually look and write down what you've had to eat, um, say you went out for sushi and you had some rolls with the, with the rice in it, that brings those calorie counts up way higher. Even though sushi in, its, in and of itself is not bad, rice in and of itself is not bad, all of a sudden, you can have a day that's 2,500 calories where really you should probably be shooting for 1,500 or 1,800. So I know for me, my problem is I'm winging it and I'm either going way too low or probably way too high. There's not enough variety, there's not enough balance and I gotta get my crap together in that area. So I'm excited to talk to him today. I will tell you what um, he's gonna have me focus on for the later and you are gonna wanna tune in because I am having two chats with some of my two, both, both amazingly talented and knowledgeable gentlemen. Um, one is gonna be with Joe Dowdell and Dr. Brooke, who wrote that book, Total You, I think, um, the one I talked to you guys about. That's gonna be a Twitter chat all about women, hormonal balance, etc. So tune in to Fitfluential for that. And then we'll also have Dr. Mike um, hosting a, um, a Twitter chat on nutrition. So you can um, tune into that and ask a lot of questions. That said, I'm at 18 minutes of babbling on. I hope you guys have a great day. And in case you're gonna ask this top, this one, that I've showed you guys this before, but it clearly is one of my favorites. And it has little holes here, which at first I thought was bizarre, but now I've grown to love. Um, this is the um, top from Mondetta and Peg Sport, which I really, I really like them. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a great weekend and Make sure you get your workout in today because I am.